was a dream that was real. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. Wait, no, no. He's the he's the clan he's the faction leader, I think. Yeah, I, he is. Charm, really? How much charm do you need? What a hundred ninety four isn't enough? Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, Ryan has the has a good idea. Like, why I'm gathering them up? Because they're gonna just revolt. Most likely, like create factions, probably, or fractions in the faction, or join one of these. Oh, that's gonna suck ass. How about you stop harassing my caravan, you piece of shit? Getting uh, more lords is always good, but uh, since they got no land, is it really? Yeah, of course they hate me, I destroyed them all. My, their relations with me bad. Well, of course, I was, with, I was at war with them, right? Fast ruler. Only killed one, come on. Think of the stupid here. If like if you mess up one of these, it, you, ju you just fail outright. Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, fuck it. We have enough vassals as is. Oh god. Because l look at the powers. With the Western Empire now. They only have 4,000 troops. Which is a fucking surprise. These guys have a 1,000. We can end this pretty quick. I like the fact that their territory is spread out. But oh well. Kill them all. We, we are going to need to kill them all. I think. To like get rid of a faction. We do need to kill them all. But that's gonna be fun hunt hunting down each and every one of them. But first off, let's get over here and form an army. Then we're gonna declare war. I think in my last playthrough I finished off the Kuzites. Then I just started killing off all their lords because uh, they just keep 
keep going around. And once you kill the lords, like their wives and their brothers and sisters become lords as well, then you have to c ca catch them, kill them. So that was fun. I'm just surprised these guys don't have more troops. Let's see, can we actually declare war? Or did they get the non-aggression pact? Okay, so... Right. On this, in this playthrough, the Roman factions don't want to go to war with each other. They do want to go to war with literally everyone else. <laughs> oh, Fuck you, game. Yeah, fuck all of you. I did have to spend a thousand for uh, fourteen hundred influence, though. Now look at that, an army of 63 guys. They're gonna get screwed up. That's why I like in Crusader Kings you can execute people, fuck around and find out. Yeah, that's how it's, how it's done. I have a million uh, lovers. And then you need to imprison a shitload of people and execute them afterwards or banish them. And become a king sl uh, kinslayer. Why does she have lipstick on? Look at that. Literally has lipstick on. Sisters. <laughs> I like how her face became so. Yeah, she does have lipstick on. What the fuck? I'm not gonna even fight this one. Hopefully I can get in there before some of them, yeah, the lords aren't gonna get there in time. Okay, we got lost an aggression pact. Can we get another another one? I might just turn off the diplomacy mod for the next playthrough. Actually, it's, uh, like there's no point in it. Like, we can't do any of it. I think we can get away with building catapults on this one. Who the fuck declared the war on me? Oh. 
Uh, guess what happened? Well, I can't actually zoom out, but the city and city we took rebelled against us because of course it is gonna rebel against us. You can't hold it down. That's why I don't take uh, like uh, territory outside the empire. I actually don't have enough influence. For fuck's sakes. I guess I'm gonna take out the Western Empire by myself. While my guys go around fighting the other ones. Yeah, it's a rebellion in a city. We don't. The culture is different over there, so we can't actually hold it. I mean, you can. It's just a pain in the ass. At least I think it's in that one in the city and territory. That's why I, I don't, I don't want to even bother with taking tr uh, taking stuff from over there. Sister 19 LOL online. You know the fucking the fact that the spam links are that fucking stupid and uh, like who makes a website like that called like that? Throw the pilum. If not, then just stack. This playthrough is actually going to be pretty freaking short at this point. And again, what I, uh, you know, what, what you're going to expect when you, like, in the first stream, you go from, uh, you know, starting the campaign to be, being in a faction and having almost 200 troops or a party capacity of almost 200 troops.
Okay, let's see if I was right. Yes, yes, that one. I actually don't give a fuck if you lose it. Honestly. I do give a fuck that we're gonna lose all... Well, the, the idea behind this, this campaign is to reclaim the Empire. Not anything else. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this is gonna suck ass. Wait, wait a minute, can I actually... Solved. Let's gonna see what's over there. Guys, one of ours, let's give him. No, you think that's a better target now? I can't actually catch up to him. Yeah, he's gonna screw us over. Warmongering pieces of shit. I should have just made a faction with my own companions, that's it. Then again, that wouldn't change anything, right? Just stack them, come on. Wait, wait, wait what? Did I not click on them? This is gonna be an issue just because we do need. I think that. I think we owned this. Before. Yeah, they might have taken it. Uh, the only issue with this, if, if we grab this, it's gonna be taken by the Patani instantly, more or less. Guess let's go. Siege this down. I do want to see the AI like gather up an army and come at me though. That would be fun. Yeah, that's a real issue. I mean, the little armies that we can actually catch up. He's... What? The Patani, I actually hold some land and they have... Let's just set this to balanced. They have less troops than the Western Empire. That's fucking interesting. And apparently we lost a battle somewhere to, to, to them. Come on, 
Let's break down the walls. I need to save these castles. Actually, I mean, um, as long as the territory is not taken by the Western Empire, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. We just need to get rid of the Empire factions and we're golden. It's even worse. Uh, it would be good if you could actually like. Well, I guess I could tell my guys to like go around and hunt down those armies, but uh, you know they get overwhelmed a, l a little bit too easy. Infantry! This is what I mean by like you can't really take out shields at all. Take the make the archers like shoot over the infantry sets. Never mind. Apparently, I oh, just charge in. Fuck it. Not much we can do about this. Except maybe go through the gate, right? There's no way I'm gonna hit any of these. Kind of.
Come on, you can do it. Come on. There you go. I think I might have enough influence to piece out the Batanii. No, I do not. Not close enough. Okay, let's see. The problem with the, the like these shit little armies, a couple of them just can just come here and besiege it and take it easily. I don't really have enough troops to place them in there. I do wish it actually told me like which faction is besieging what. Because if this is the Batania, I don't give a flying fuck. What the fuck is that uneven split? Yeah, yeah, look at look at that. This is what I mean. And you can actually catch them all because they're not in an army. I guess if you like the way you're, you're gonna get most of these lords to join you if you fight a lot of battles versus them and then just let them go. Like he in Warband. I think that's the only way, really. So you get a high enough relations with him. Okay, that siege was lifted. I'm gonna assume that's the Batanii. And we're gonna... Um, let's go take this. Oh no, never mind. Wait. Okay, they gave up. Of course. I might be actually too slow to catch him. Yep. Oh, I think they just fucked up. Come on. Nope. Come on, go catch him. Catch him. Yes. I think I'm going to have to do it like that. Just keep one guy in our party that's going to go around and chase the enemy lords. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Okay, the siege was lifted. Even that one was lifted. Somehow. Probably not lifted, but like the enemy just decided uh, we don't we're not gonna besiege this. We're just gonna do go do something else. You know, to be honest, it might be it might have been just easier to like take every castle for myself and just uh have the improved garrison mod just pump it up full of infantry. Since we have so much money. Okay, it seems our guys are actually going to do something. I don't think I'm gonna fight this battle. Wait, what? Apparently I lost party capacity at some point. break their their walls down then go send in the troops i'm not gonna alter resolve this one there's like no point got the number of them almost 10 to 1 Look at that, only 13 losses on our side. This is good. I don't want them to siege that, that down. Hopefully they do it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go through here, get this first. Ah, look at that. Our guys are chasing them down. Yeah, see, even the the Azra, I can't like hold the city because uh, the culture there is Roman or Imperium. And I, did, I think I did see quite a lot of rebellions in the last playthrough, all over the place, especially in the Emp. What I don't get is the Empire territory. The uh, Roman faction said. A lot of uh, revolts for some reason. Maybe because the places were always getting raided, most likely. I do have enough influence to get the, out of the war here. Never mind, I do not. The amount just increased. I am going to have enough after this battle though. Yeah, oh, sure, go in there so I can fight you. Oh, God, no. 
like if we can over overrule them for once. I don't want to fight hordes of skirmisher cav right now, or ever for that matter. Actually, I'm not quite sure. Is it? I think it's faster to if you build a uh, build up trebuchets to knock down the walls. Okay, there we go. Just send in troops. Lost only 22. Look at that, the AI actually took that. Only problem is it's being besieged by the Batani. Okay, let's take their last castle. And that's gonna be it for the Northern uh, Western Empire. Even though there's 500 in there. Well, I guess I could fight a battle. The last battle against them. Wait a minute. They... F what? Oh, they have 500 defenders, but not, not, not all of them can fight. So some of them are wounded. This is going to be piss easy then. Yeah, but Tani, I took the castle back over there. Tier three, uh, tier three plus units suffer twenty percent less damage in simulations. Um, I think this one is gonna be better. More damage in simulations. What the? F the fuck's this? Apparently the walls are trees. What? Look at this shit. Okay. Weird. Just another bug, apparently. Well, after all, the game is in uh, early access, right? Oh, God, lag. Fire! 
Something's not right. How many? Okay. Gears through his legs, of course. I don't see Romans anywhere, I see a bunch of traitors and barbarians. Chebuchet kill. If only the Chebuchet like got the shot in at, at those guys. Maybe I should actually take control of a Chebuchet. Can't really aim that thing though. I'm surprised it didn't break yet, to be honest. This one would be nice to defend as well. If we could actually go up there. I'm not sure if we can. But let's go see where the where the retreat path is. Is that the retreat point? Yes it is. Oh, 
Only nine deaths on our side. Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote for the Western Empire. They are dead, more or less. Well, not really that you can't actually kill a faction in this game for some reason. The Southern Empire is still around, apparently. And they're with war with the... Wait, what? Okay, they're at war with Sturgia, I think. Let's see, let's check. By the mouth. Uh, part of. Yeah, they were at war with Sturgeon. See about the Western Empire. Yeah, they're only at war with us. So, how the fuck are they at fighting with, the, with them? I have no freaking clue. It doesn't really matter. That's about it. And we're gonna get the peace offer from them pretty soon. Since the war exhaustion is so high. Oh, that's me. Okay, you own three castle huts. Three castles, how about you? Three castles as well. I guess let's give him something. Oh my god. My guys want to declare war on Sturgeon. Sturgia? Okay, I don't remember how you pronounce that. Can we? No, we cannot. Hmm, let's actually check what this happens. Yes, bitter defeat. For sh definitely, for sure. Okay, but that's, but that's it, guys, for this stream. So sub on YouTube, follow on Twitch D Live and Trivo. Up on Gilded if you need any information or to contact me. I don't know what we're gonna do the next time. I guess we're gonna take out Batanians, which is gonna be pretty easy because they're all their territory is like right next to each other. That's gonna be easy enough. The Sturgeons, though, I don't really wanna fight them, to be honest. Oh my god. The Southern Empire is actually besieging one of their towns. They might actually reappear on the map, which is gonna suck ass for me. Well, we'll see that next time, I guess. Okay, welcome. So last time, we knocked out all the, oh, the Western Empire and the Southern Empire as well. Mm, they still exist. But uh, I don't think there's a way to, like, kill off a faction unless you literally kill all of them off. Each clan executes all of them, so... I mean, we could, like, 
declare war on them if they take some land here and there. Which I think the Southern Empire is... Like they're besieging something of Sturgia. Or they were, never mind. Yeah, they are. At least I think they are. They might take this then. I might go. I need to go over there and take it out again. But I mean, at this point, I could just leave my allies to do whatever, and I can use the clan mem uh, my clan members to just you know follow me around and do what we need to do. Guess what I could do is like w go to war with the modded factions, the nations, the Batani and the. Scythians. That might be an idea. Wouldn't take long, even a. Well, actually, but taking this Scythians out is gonna be an issue. Because, um, as in real life, when Rome went east and encountered horsemen armies, uh, kind of went down south pretty fucking fast until like caught up. So, see what happens over there. Okay, yeah, our guy is besieging that, so let's go besiege this. Now we do have a neighbor who decided to work on something today, so might be some noise in the background. Never mind, they decided they're not gonna besiege it. What the fuck are these guys doing? Are they gonna tell me? It would be interesting if you actually saw it. Oh my god. They're really just raiding with the same 100 man army. That's fucking nice. Useless. As always. Since the, uh, these are the Batania territory. Oh, I know what we should do. I'm gonna go and see what the quest, what do we get for the quest when we give the banner to the lady who wants us to restore the empire because um, since we already have an empire, you know, we lead the entire Imperium faction, more or less, I wonder what's gonna happen. I guess we'll find out soon enough, I think. Yeah, that, that, that woman is in our territory, so we should be fine. Okay, fine. Come on, okay. Actually, this one ain't that bad. You could actually use the archers a little bit here. Yeah, let's use up the archers a little bit. They still have a lot of infantry. A lot of defenders, better said. This might be actually worse than using a siege tower. To be honest. Yeah, it actually might be. You pick. Well, this one's not so bad. The other one is awful, though.
we want to wait till we like kill enough of them so we have a numerical advantage over them on the field that's as lucky lucky throw Let's move this infantry a little bit. Put them into a better position. They want uh, as big of an advantage as we can get. Plus, we have catapults, uh, trebuchets. Do want to use that up as in, like, in real life siege wood? It'd be cool if they made it so you can actually choose where the siege towers are gonna go. Oh, siege tower over here would be nice. Okay, this is going better than expected. Considering. 